good looking? Welcome to day 14, the final day of my Better Booty Challenge. Woo! Now, today's workout is awesome. It's 30 minutes long. You need a pair of light dumbbells, and it's a dumbbell Tabata. So we have eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. In this workout, we target the glutes with a ton of curtsy lunges, squats, jumping jacks, all sorts of different patterns that are gonna get those booty muscles fired up as well as your thighs. So grab those dumbbells, let's go get warmed up. Let's warm up. Give me some big arm circles. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm PJ. I lead you through your warm up, your workout, your cool down. And if you need a little bit more, you can always head to the blog, fitnesswithpj.com. All right, open and close the chest. Oh man, I am still super sore from my TRX workout I taught yesterday. I wonder how the rest of my class is feeling. All right, we're gonna go a little here, a little running on the spot. Hey, if you don't like running, I want you to march on the spot. That's the thing with every single one of my workouts. Let's bring the heels up to the bottom now. Non-impact, like so. Every single one of my workouts, I am going to show you modifications. So if you have sore knees, you don't like to jump, you're just starting out in fitness, you're gonna be able to do the workout with me, okay? Just hang in there. Heels up. Beautiful. All right, now take yourself out. You're gonna take your right leg, step out to the side, touch the toe, feet together, let's do it again. Reach, good. Now let's pick up the tempo a little bit. So at Tabata, we have 20 seconds of exercise, eight rounds, and we have eight exercises, last one. Good, other side, reach. So I am going to show you the Tabata itself, and then I'm going to show you how you can modify it if you don't like to jump or if your knees aren't feeling it for the squats that we're going to be doing. Last three, two, and one. All right, feet together, jumping jacks, bring it right up. Beautiful. You don't like jumping jacks, go out side to side, arms coming to shoulder height. I have had a wicked cold for like 10 days now. So you're going to hear me breathing deep just because I can't breathe, period. Good. Arms up. And now loving husband has the cold. That's why he's not here today joining me. Last five seconds. Tie. All right. Reach the arms out. Bring the feet underneath the hips. Drop down into the squat. Lift up off the heels. Good. We got eight. Push that bum right back. Good, drop down. Two more. Last one, and release. Okay, here's the scoop. We're gonna do jumping jack presses. So, we're jacking the feet out. When the feet come in, we're pushing the dumbbells up above the head. To modify, I want you to drop down into a sumo squat, it's a really wide squat. You'll stay there and do presses. If your arms start to fatigue, you can do one at a time. Whew, see, I'm already breathless. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. All right, you ready? Feet together, dumbbells down, get whichever one you wanna do, and go. So if you're doing it with me, when your feet come together, that's when the arms come up. We're gonna use just one dumbbell for our next exercise. So, don't mirror me, okay? <laughs> now I want you to swing the dumbbell through the legs and then give me a kick and to the side. So it's one, two, good. Now bring the dumbbell right up. If you don't like the shuffle, you're gonna do a regular wood chop. Yeah? Good. Todd. All right, now keep that same right arm Take yourself down into a straight arm plank. Bring that right elbow up and now kick back. And hold yourself in the kickbacks. To modify, drop on the knees. Now if this really bothers your wrist, by all means you can go down onto the forearm, either from the toes or modify from the knees, okay? You choose. 
Top. All right, let's get the wood chops going. Right up. Left hand now, so now we've changed the dumbbell to the other hand. And ready, down, and shuffle. Good. You don't have to do the shuffle if you don't want to. Shuffle's fun though. Now we've got the left arm tricep kickback coming up. Time. All right, so get down to that straight arm plank. Remember all the options I've given you, okay? Elbow up, and now kick back. You've got that hand, remember? You can drop on the knees. As we go, I'm gonna show the modifications less because I'm probably gonna be getting tired. So I need you to remember what you modify and then stick with it for all eight rounds. Last one, time. All right, grab both your dumbbells for me. We're gonna squat and curtsy lunge. But we're gonna add a bit of a jump. So I want you to squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy. So this is the move. Then if you want to add a little bit of a jump, you can. Now, if you don't like doing lunges or squats, you're going to do a bridge, okay? Bum lifts. Last two. Time. Whew, see how fast that went? All right, place the dumbbell underneath the chest. Get into a straight arm plank for me. Pick the dumbbell up with the right hand, rotate on the feet, and lift that dumbbell above the right shoulder. Back to center, now the other side. To modify, on your knees. And then you'll straighten that top leg. Time. All right. Grab onto both dumbbells. Beginners, no dumbbells. Get into a squat for me. And jump forward towards me and then back. Now, if you don't like doing that, you do a static squat for me, okay? So those are our eight exercises. We're going to take it to the top with our jumping jack shoulder press move. Remember, you can do a sumo squat and shoulder press. Time. So you can hold here, all right? You don't have to jump. Whew. If you're jumping, feet together, hands up. Let's jump the legs out first and then press. When we jump the legs out, we'll get a little knee bend. Wood chop with side shuffle coming up. Time. All right, one dumbbell in your right hand. Okay, let's start by swinging it through the legs, bringing the dumbbell above the head. Doing it again. Now add that shuffle. And then back. You don't have to do the shuffle if you don't like it. Straight arm plank. We're doing those tricep kickbacks with the same arm coming up. Time. All right, don't change arms. We're still on that right arm. Give yourself a straight arm plank from the knees or the toes. Elbow up and kick. See if you can square yourself to your mat as much as possible. I should have brought tissue with me. <laughs> My nose is going. Done. All right, dumbbell in the left hand, feet apart. Swing through the legs, come above the head. Stay here or add the hop. And good. So I need you to have a light pair of dumbbells. I don't want you doing this with a 15 pounder. That's just a little crazy. Tricep kickbacks coming up with this left arm. Time. All right, hit the deck. Straight arms on the knees or toes. Keep that core engaged. Do not shift through those hips. Keep it tight, everybody. Elbow up and kiss. Woo. All right, we got squat curtsy lunges coming up. If you don't like the squat curtsies, remember, you can lie on your back with your knees bent and give me bridges. And I'm gonna have to get a tissue. In three, two, one. 
Stay where you are. <laughs> All right, grab both dumbbells. Whew. Here we go. Give me a squat. Good, squat, curtsy. Now add the hop if you like. It's a lot of fun with dumbbells, isn't it? All right, plank, twist, and fly. So this is where we're back in that straight arm plank with one dumbbell into the chest. From the knees or toes, rotate, sweep the straight arm up, other side. Try to move to the shoulder, okay? Not a lot happening in that elbow joint. We're going to squat forward and back. Alternatively, you can just do squats up and down, all right? Drop in your squats, jump to me, jump away. Stay in the squat. All right, two rounds are done. Going back to that jumping jack and shoulder presses. Remember, eight rounds. That's what it's about is all about, baby. <laughs> Todd, I don't know about you, but I... Maybe getting rid of the dumbbells on the next round. Whew. Here we go, feet together, hands up. Now jack the feet out, bring them in, and then press. Remember, this is your option if you don't like the jumping, okay? Don't jump too wide, okay? Control it. One more, time. All right, dumbbell in the right hand. Legs apart, core engaged, swing through. Use the hips to get that dumbbell above the head. Do it again. Now add the shuffle if you like. Shuffle and then down. Shuffle and then down. Tricep kicks coming up. Time. All right, straight arm. Keep that same arm, okay? We're still working the right. From the toes or your knees, elbow up and kick. Hopefully you're breathing hard too. It'd be super embarrassing if I'm the only one dying here. Last two. And one, die. Woo, all right, now we'll switch arms. Here we go, left arm, swing through the legs. Use the glutes to get it up above the head. Do it again, now add the shuffle. Actually, it's a good thing loving husband is not here. He would hate this workout. I was kind enough to share my cold. He got it a couple days ago. Tom. Okay, keep that arm, we've got the kickbacks, left arm. Oh, hopefully you don't get it, it's brutal. It really saps your energy. Ready, elbow up, and kick. It's almost flu-like. I had it over our Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving. So my big Thanksgiving dinner was chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Not that I'm a big cook anyways. <laughs> dumbbells. You can keep yours if you like. All right, give me a squat. Now curtsy. Squat. Another leg curtsy. Remember, you can bridge if you'd like. Now add the hop. Plank and twist coming up. Time. All right, one dumbbell into the chest. Straight arm plank from the toes or the knees to modify. Sweep the arm up above the shoulder, elbow straight, back to center, other side. We've got the jump squats, forward and back. 
One more. Time. All right. Grab your dumbbells or no. Up to you. Squat down low. Now jump forward and back. You got that option. Don't jump. Just give me up and down squats, okay? All right. Round three done. Taking it from the top again. Jack and press coming up. Hold it down and then press. Here we go, hands up. Now, jump the feet out, feet together, arms up. Land soft, abs engaged, all right? I don't want you to feel your low back. If you feel your low back, you've lost your abs. Don't do it. Time. Woo. All right, right hand dumbbell. Feet apart, toes are slightly turned out. We're using the glutes. We're using the glutes and hips to get that dumbbell up there, not the arm. And now we have the shuffle. Kick back to this right arm, coming up. Time. All right, straight arm plank. From the knees or the toes, remember you got the options. Elbow up, core tight, and kick back. Keep that elbow up, all right? You want that elbow lined up with the shoulder. Working the back of the upper arm here, and a ton of core as well. You're welcome. Oh, hallelujah, sister. Let's do this. <laughs> Done. Having a religious moment. All right, left arm. We're gonna wood chop, ready? Use the hips to get that dumbbell up there. Now let's add that shuffle. Kickbacks coming up. Let's get that core engaged. Hey, feet apart too. That's gonna help you keep those hips square. Elbow up and kick. We got the squat currencies coming up. Or if your knees just aren't loving that, I want you to lie on your back, knees bent, feet on the ground, and lift your hips up and down. That's called a bridge. I love me a bridge when you can't lunge. Last one. Done. Woo! Come on up. All right. Give me a squat. Good. Now curtsy, drop that back knee towards the floor, squat, curtsy, now add the hop. When we do a curtsy, we're crossing over the midline of the body, and what that's doing is firing up more glute. Quiet twist and fly, coming up. <laughs> I feel like I'm going in total slow motion right now. Dog. All right, dumbbell underneath the chest. From the toes or the knees, feet apart, ready, fly, right above, back to center, other side. Time. Woo. Grab your other dumbbell. We're squatting, jumping back and forth, or just squat up and down. If you're doing the jumps with me, try to stay down, okay? Don't lift yourself up. Or I'll be on, I don't know. The timer's got it figured out though, don't worry about it. We're not just gonna keep on going forever. Done. I actually wonder what the longest workout on YouTube is. I gotta look into that, curious. All right, jumping jack with presses. Hands up, feet together, jack out, press up. Tom. Woo. All right, 
Here we go, feet apart. Let's take that right arm with the dumbbell swing. Come up, swing. Now add the shuffle. Awesome. Kick back to this right arm coming up. Time. All right, straight arm plank. You got that option, remember? Toes and knees. Feet apart, though. Elbow up, and now kick back. You want that whole entire arm parallel with your floor. Oh boy. Make sure you comment below if you've done the workout. Let me know what you thought. Whew. And let me know what other workouts you want to see. Love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed, do it after you finish this workout. Time. Left arm. Ready? Feet apart. Give me that wood chop. Subscribe. Join the old community. Alright, let's add that shuffle. I got a lot more cool stuff too at fitnesswithpj.com, so when you got time, head on over. I got actually in particular a free one month workout calendar for you. So Time. Alright, left leg kickbacks. Whew. Feet apart. Core engage, bring that left elbow up and kick back. Squat with curtsies coming up. And let's really perfect our curtsy lunges on this set. Cross right over, keep the upper body upright and drop that back knee straight down, baby. Keep it tight. Time. No dumbbells, unless you want them. I'm not gonna hold you back. Give me a squat. Now cross over curtsy. Good. Now add that hop. And the hop is totally optional. Or you have that bridge pattern you can do. This one you're kind of like, what the hell do I do with my arms? I don't know, man. I'm just holding mine here. Time. If loving husband were here, he would probably have the most hilarious arm movement to that move. All right, plank, twist, and fly. Dumbbell under the chest, straight arm plank. Sweep the arm up, elbow straight, and back down, other side. <laughs> I've got to add that exercise in next time he's here filming. I just got to see what he makes up with that move. <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> Done. All right, grab your dumbbells. We're squatting and jumping forward and back. Or just squat up and down. Here we go. Drop down. Now jump. And <laughs> but the man must truly love me to allow me to bring him on each week when he's not a big fan of this type of exercise. He's a soccer player. And then I ridicule him. <laughs> he's a good man. Todd, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're new to the channel, check back some of the older workouts with my husband. It's quite funny, he's not a trainer. All right, jumping jack and press. Here we go. Jack the feet out, now press up. <laughs> he's a handyman, that's what he does, nine to five. Again, you can stay in that sumo squat, just give me shoulder presses. Ta, woo! All right, one dumbbell down. Right hand, feet apart, give me that wood chop. Use the hips to get that dumbbell up there. Ready, let's add that shuffle. Kickbacks coming up. Time, all right. Straight arm, again though, the buck in your wrist, go on your forearm. Elbows up, and kick back. On the knees, that's your modified. But you remember that, right? We've done this just a few times now. If you don't remember, wake up. Die. All right, 
Here we go. Left hand with the dumbbell. Feet apart. Swing through the arm. Legs, pardon me. Lift up above the head. Ready? Let's add that shuffle. So when we go back here, it's when we sort of go deeper for that squat. Kickbacks coming up. You find which modification is going to work for you. We'll go full on with me, elbow up, and kick back. Feel those muscles in the back of the upper arm right now. Getting stronger. Getting tighter. Yes. No saggy arms on my watch. Whenever I see women with jiggly arms, oh man, I want to pull them in the gym and give them a good session. No excuse. We can have toned arms. That's super sexy. Whew. What do we got? Oh yeah, squat and curtsy lunge. Here we go, ready? Give me a squat. Curtsy. Squat. Now add the hop. You don't have to add the hop, or this is your bridge pattern. Plank, twist, and fly coming up. Time. Take a quick sip of water. All right, dumbbell under the chest. Slide that dumbbell above the shoulder, back to center. Control it too, okay? Don't be flinging the arm. I want you to end just so that you line up with your shoulder, not past it. Tie. Woo! All right, grab the other dumbbell. We're squatting. Jumping forward and back, or just give me squats. And go. Time. Last two rounds, all right? From the top, jack and press. Here we go, feet together, hands at shoulder height. Let's jump the feet out, bring them in, and press. Control it though, this is not sloppy. This is a very controlled move. If you get sloppy, you're gonna get hurt. I do not want you hurt. I'm sure neither do you. <laughs> Time. Whew. All right, wood chop, right arm. Ready? Feet apart. Let's use those glutes. We got them. Let's use them. And now let's add that shuffle. Down. Shuffle. Whew. Kickbacks coming up. Whew. All right. Remember, we're not switching arms. We got that right arm kick back because we're working on muscle tone. Now what? Let's do her. Oh, I feel another nose blows, blow coming on. Keep going. CrossFit. Done. Woo. 
All right, get ready to dumbbell. We got squat with curtsy. We'll add the hop as we go. Ready? Squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy, add that hop. Loving husband used to come to those too. Such a sweetie. There'd be like 50 women in the room. It's a huge room, huge gym. I'm on a stage, you're on a stage with a mic, and I'd still be giving him a hard time. And he'd still come back. Time. What a good man. All right. Plank, twist, and fly. I think deep down he loves it. Here we go. Plank. Now bring that arm up for the fly, back to center. And he literally was the only man in the class. Not a lot of men take step. <laughs> Time. Men should take step classes of us. Really good cardio workout. All right, we're squatting, we're jumping, we're smiling, we're almost there, and go. Squat forward and back. 
and we's done. Hold on your dumbbells, sink into that squat, and go. Whew. See how good a sip of water is going to be after this. So we're going to grab a quick sip of water when the timer goes. Give her a stretch, and then you can continue on with your day. You've done awesome. I'm proud of you. Time. All right, let's try that water. We need that water. Whew. Cheers. Oh, ah. that was a good sweat. Okay, let's do a quad stretch, because I really think our quads need a stretch. Heel up, woo! Find something to hold on to if you're having a hard time with balance. Knee underneath the hip with a quad stretch. It's gonna give you the best stretch. And then from there, I want you to squeeze the glutes forward. Yeah, do you feel that? A little bit more pull in that quad. If you have a hard time grabbing it on your foot, okay, you can grab onto your shoe or get an old necktie or bathrobe tie and keep it close by next workout. You can loop it around your foot and hold on to the tie. Don't go get it now. We're almost done. <laughs> All right, kick this leg out. So it's like a half a step. And I want you to hinge through the hips and come forward. Ah, you feel that? Yeah, right there in the hamstring. So I want you to try to relax the quad now. Great, pull the toe up. If you're able to, reach down and pull the toe towards you a bit more. But I don't want you to round your back too much to get there, so only if you can. If you feel you need to stretch more, I've got some great stretch workouts on the YouTube channel as well. My personal favorite release, other leg up, is my hip and hamstring opener. Hip opener, hamstring stretch workout. It's about, I think it's 20 minutes. So a really nice one. And then I have another great one that a lot of people use to help them sleep at night. I think I called it my good night yoga stretch. But why is it as we get older, it's harder to sleep? We really should appreciate that when we're toddlers, shouldn't we? We don't. All right, release this a half a step, toe up, push the hips away. If you're in perimenopause or menopause, like yours personally, then some of that is due to hormones. But a lot of it is due to our, what they call monkey brain. <laughs> I've got monkey on the brain, don't I? But it's our brain that just keep jumping from branch to branch or thought to thought and racing and racing when we should be calming it. And release, here we go. Bring the right arm across, chest up, thumb up, stretching into the shoulder and upper back. And now bend the elbow and press in a bit more. And you're gonna feel that a bit more around the shoulder blade region. So I highly recommend finding ways to tame your monkey brain. And for a lot of people, it is meditation. And you can do it on your own just by some deep breathing, just focusing on your breath. Or you can download apps like my um, Headspace or Try Yoga. But we really do need to start to learn to control our thoughts, stay in the present, release. Other arm across, thumb up. And that in turn will really help us sleep at night. And now bend and press in. Release, I'm gonna to go to the side. I want you to take a deep breath in, extend the spine for me. And then exhale, bring the arms down, swan dive all the way down, and then drop the head, the shoulders, the fingertips to your mat and hold. Soften the knees, flatten the back, and reverse swan dive back up. So we come all the way up, extend, bring the arms and hands to the center, exhale. And good job. Thank you so much for joining me. Truly appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, we'll see you next workout. Bye. Okay, we seriously have to get that exercise in and see how Loving Husband does with it. We won't say anything though when we do it, will we? <laughs>